Hi everyone, it's Terry. I wanted to share uh, how you can use your cutting machine to your advantage for applique. I happen to own three different cutting machine brands. My oldest is the Cameo Silhouette. It still works. It was probably one of the beginning silhouettes. Uh, the second one I have is a Cricut Maker and then I also own the Scan and Cut. I happen to love the Scan and Cut DX230. This is a Disney machine, but the DX225 operates the same way. And I'll show you why I love it. First of all, I'm cutting out appliques. I have a fusible product on the back. You can see the paper on the back of this. This is a product that is a quilter select. It's called I believe Appy Web Plus, and it's something that Alex Anderson uses because it has a, a lovely hand to it. I want you to see how soft this is on, on the fabric. So you can see that fabric is moving. It's a fusible, it's not repositionable. You will find in the Floriani line, especially in Embellish, some repositionable type products. So I'm going to start you from the beginning. I hope my battery lasts because I've been filming today for a sponsor. You will notice that I have an update available. That's all right. We can go ahead and work around that. So what we're going to do is choose retrieve data. It's on my USB stick. I could send this to my scan and cut for my BES4 software from my PE Design 11 software and from the Brother Canvas workspace. I don't know how it could be any easier. So now what I'm going to do is locate the file. Here it is. And now what I'm going to do is to select the cut files I want. This particular digitizer has included them for several brands, including SVG files. I'll choose the scan and cut. You may see that these FCM files come in black. Don't worry about that. You'll be able to see the images. I know I need the number one. I'm cutting out numerals. This is my previous scan. We're about to put some fabric down on the mat. So I'll go ahead and choose OK. And I want to choose Add. And we'll retrieve data again. The USB will go ahead and locate the file. And then we'll select the next design. Now I can also retrieve it from the PES file if I wanted to, but since she's provided cut files, I'm using those and they have worked beautifully in the project. So I'll go ahead and choose the next file and choose okay. Now what I want to do is I want to scan my fabric, but what I'm going to do is let you see my cutting mat. Let me zoom out. You'll notice I have a couple of pieces of tape here, this is Kimberbell tape. What I do is I'm using my low tack adhesive mat. I do not have any fabric support sheets under this, and this works for me. I have I have yet to have a problem cutting out my my designs. So I save my tape and reuse it, and you'll get to see the, the results. And as I say, the proof is in the pudding, so we'll see how this comes out. So let's just go ahead and take this piece of tape. Now, I do like to take this and kind of press it down a bit. It doesn't have to really be stuck so much to the to this cutting mat. So now what we want to do is scan. So let me reposition the camera so you can see that. We'll zoom back in and we're going to scan and press start because what you saw was a previous scan. So it'll scan and then what I need to do is reposition those images over my fabric. Okay, so you may not notice it, but right now the number five is, is has a red box around it. 
I'm moving it and placing it over my fabric. Now I'll select the number one. It has a red box. I'll move it over my fabric as well. And now both are over the fabric. So I want to choose OK. Now I'll press the arrow and select cut. Now let's watch it cut. Uh, what I'm going to do is move the camera so you can watch it cut on that mat. And what I'll do is I'll press start. I don't need to do a test because I already know that this is go going to cut out well. You know, some places like this that aren't stuck, you know, I, I could put another piece of tape if I thought it was a problem, but it's not going to be. So the corners are what you really need to worry about. This is a automatic cutting blade and I use the same blade for fabric all the time. And that way, if, if I'm going to cut paper, which in fact you are cutting paper in this, you're not destroying your blade so much or dulling it. All right. So now all you need to do is I lift up, I just kind of lift up my tape because I have more of these to cut. I could cut more at the same time, but you know, sometimes it's nice to do, just do a few things at once. And you notice how easily that came up and you see how beautiful that cut is. Just take, you can take a spatula if you want and you can lift it up. In fact, it's actually coming up from the paper because I pressed it down so much. And let me just catch a corner of it because I like to keep it attached to that paper until I go to the machine and have my placement stitch. And then I just fuse this in place. You can see the paper on that and you can see how easy it is to separate it. And all you have to do is get your fingernail to start it and you can see that peels back. So that's the number five and now we'll get the number one. So for those people who say that they don't care for the scanning cut, I really don't know how this could be any easier than it is because you can see that they, these are absolutely beautiful cuts. I'm Terry Maffitt. I hope you like my videos. If you would, join me in Facebook in the Just Stitching with a Brother Luminaire group. And there we have close to, I think, 2,800 people now or 2,900. I think you'll enjoy it. And make sure that you say hello to a friend today and say a prayer for someone who's having a difficult time. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day.